Tired of ordinary television? Don't touch that dial. SCTV is now on the air. I know you're gonna dig this. Get it, fuck it, fuck it with me. What's going on everybody? How are you doing today? So here I am still in Toronto It's the same day as the day I filmed the John Candy video and Like I said, I left you on a well, I left you on a cliffhanger on the last one the John Candy video this one sort of a mini mini uh, episode about Second City TV now I have something planned about Second City and the history of Second City in Toronto and Chicago but while I was doing the John Candy thing, it's since in the John Candy house that I showed you on the last video, you should watch. That's where John Candy and Gene Levy came up with the, uh, the premise of throwing TVs out the window in the famous intro to SCTV. This one. Tired of ordinary television? Don't touch that dial. SCTV is now on the air. That. They threw them out of the window of an apartment building here in Toronto. And that apartment building still stands amongst all these new condos. Oops. That building is still there. Here. And I'm going to show you where John Candy and uh, I think it was Joe Flaherty, this picture. That one. They actually threw the TVs off themselves. It was in this building right here. This is filming locations, TV history, and a little bit about John Candy. Look. So here we go. This is the building right here. And this is my city. You're gonna stop when I say stop. Okay, you're not gonna stop. What? What? <laughs> But this is the building from the iconic opening of Second City. TVs are thrown right from there. All right, well, it looks like the angle would have been somewhat without these, this tree here, kind of like that. Actually, well, I guess I can get a weird out. No, see this tree? These trees are really in the way. Would have been that angle. TV's coming down here, landing right about there. I was just trying to line up and line up the shot behind me here. I was saying that it was Joe Flaherty and uh, John Candy that threw the TVs out. But as you can tell in the opening, they come out of multiple, uh, off of multiple balconies. So it wasn't just John Candy and Joe Flaherty. I thought he, they were just kept picking them up and throwing them over. No, there must have been a, uh, how would they have coordinated that? Hey, can we come in your apartment and throw a TV off? How do you get a permit for that? But the TVs would have landed right here. Right around here. All those TVs, up from there. So John Candy would have been, I think it looked like he was on the top one, right there, tossing them down. They all come tumbling down. The iconic opening for STV, which ran from, I think it was uh, 76 to 84, 78 to 84? It was 76 to 84. And it's one of the rare shows that back in the day, that was a Canadian show, now Shit's Creek, there's been lots of Canadian shows that have crossed over to being hugely successful in the States, but back then it was very rare. And Sex City was one of those. Now, this condo is new, so you would not have seen this in the shot, but there's a building just down a little bit. I'm gonna show you, you can see it in the background a little bit. It's only five seconds of the opening, but still, comedy history right here. It's supposed to take place in Mellonville. Did you know that, SCTV, Sex City? Melonville. 
and Toronto is sometimes referred to as Mellonville sometimes, or Hogtown, the Big Smoke, the Six. If you call it the Six, or T-Dot, don't call it T-Dot. If you're from Toronto, you don't call it T-Dot. And if you're from Toronto and call it T-Dot, As you can see, the architecture is still the same. Obviously, it's the same building, but not much has changed. Different colors, a little more muted beige and browns, but this is it right here. TV's thrown it's right here. Yeah, Second City was a big, big, I mean, a lot of stars in Second City, Eugene Levy, Joe Flaherty, Rick Moranis, Dave Thomas, Andrea Martin, Martin Short, and of course, John Candy. I'm forgetting, there's been lots. I mean, I'm talking about the Toronto troupe. Lots, Mike Myers, he wasn't on SCTV, but he was in Second City here in Toronto. Mike Myers, actually, the day he graduated high school, he went on audition for Second City and got in the day he graduated from high school. He's kind of a one of a kind talent, Mike Myers. Still love him. So do you. Hi, right, I'm showing you that building. That's why I'm just blabbing as we're walking. I'm gonna show you the building you can see in the background. Then wrap it up. Uh, it's not this one. Wait, is it this one? No, it's the next one. This one's facing this way. Well, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's this one right here. So if this uh, condo wasn't here, that's the uh, TV building where they throw the TVs off. That condo's blocking this building here. You see it in the background. Very, very briefly. All right, so that's the iconic opening from SCTV. Throwing the TVs out the window. Oh, did you know? I'm walking. You can wait. <laughs> Somebody's going to run me over just to be rude. Um, the show was doing well. But then Why World of Sports, ABC's Why World of Sports, they caught a glimpse of the opening somehow, and they aired the opening. And Why World of Sports was a hugely, hugely watched show back in, like, the 70s in like the 70s, in the 70s. And they showed a clip of it and that got them a lot more viewers. Because people would say, what is this show? After the announcers on Why World of Sports thought that was a really cool thing. Did you know that? Now you do. All right, if you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. If you've watched my channel for a long time, really thank you for watching and supporting. Lots more coming up from Toronto and all over. Where am I going next? You're gonna find out soon. But for now, we're sticking in Toronto because Toronto, Toronto, it's got nothing to add. Toronto, anyone, anybody have an opinion on Toronto? Oh boy, here we go. Check out the mustache. How do you do? Toronto's got that. All right, we are the entertainment capital of the world, not including Los Angeles and New York and Chicago. Well, more than Chicago, maybe. I love Chicago, but Toronto rocks. All right, that was the name of a TV show, Toronto Rocks, back in the day. Peace. Love SCTV, love John Candy. Ow! There's the building. Ah, you can't see it now. There was a building. See you soon.